Howdy folks, so this video is titled My Favorite Music. So I came up with an idea, just like an hour ago, um, that I'm going to start posting below some of my videos uh, links to some of my favorite songs and albums. Just because I was listening to an amazing album last night and just totally tripping out on it, which I'll mention just in just a minute. Um, and also there will be the link below this video to uh, listen to that album, if you, if you like. And so I just thought that it would be kind of cool to add a little something different than the uh, intellectual talking and everything about various concepts. Because music has definitely been a very important and integral part of my life. And music really has a, a way of uh, inspiring and tapping into, inspiring us to tap into other aspects of ourselves beyond the mind, get us excited, get us passionate about life, um, cause us to feel various uh, feelings and emotions evoked by the music. Um, and I have a very wide uh, range of music that I like. And so just thought that I would put it out there that, that uh, um, you know, I'm going to start putting uh, some links below future videos as well. You know, my usual video is talking about various stuff. And then at the end of the video or whenever you're finished watching it, then uh, if you're curious, then you can check it out and, and uh, give it a try. So I will put uh, a, a variety of different um, types of music below some of these videos. So if I was forced to choose one artist to listen to their music, the proverbial if you were stuck on a tropical island by yourself, then I would have to go with Bob Dylan. I'm a huge Bob Dylan fan. I've been a Bob Dylan fan since I was a kid. And plus the fact that he has so much freaking music, uh, 50 albums or whatever, and, uh, and really crosses a wide spectrum. But, uh, you know, his, his classics from the 60s, it's folk music, but it's just it's not just folk music by any means. And so that's what I like about him, is that, is that uh, he's both soulful and acoustic and uh, great lyrics, but he has a very different spin on, on his music from uh, the typical folk type singers. And I just love his energy and his voice. And, the stories he tells and, and just the ridiculous scenarios that he talks about and, and all this. So, big Bob Dylan fan. I am uh, also a fan of just plenty of the, the greats from the 60s, take your pick. Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, The Beatles, um, The Grateful Dead, who I got uh, into relatively recently, well, in my, in my late 20s. I'd heard them... Uh, previously, of course, my parents didn't have any of their albums. My, my parents were hippies in the 60s, and, and we had a bunch of albums from, from the 60s, including Bob Dylan and the Beatles and whatnot, but uh, we didn't have any Grateful Dead uh, albums, so I, I didn't get introduced to them when I was a kid. And then I heard them later when I was a teenager, but I actually went to a dead show in uh, the Bay Area um, in, I think, fall of 1988. And, but it was more because I, I had a bunch of hippie friends in Berkeley High School, California. And they were all going, and so I went, went with them. But I was really more into um, uh, punk, alternative stuff like The Violent Femmes, Wall of Voodoo, um, The Cure, Echo and the Bunnymen, uh, Stuff like this, I, I wasn't, and I and I was still into like Pink Floyd and the Beatles and whatnot, but I just hadn't, I just hadn't gotten into the Grateful Dead. They were a little too mellow for me or something. But then later in in the, in my twenties, then I got into them, got introduced to them a, a bit more, and uh, and I'm now a huge Grateful Dead fan. They are a, a awesome vibe. They're they're really like a a. Uh, like a world that you enter and you, and you get into their space and, and it just trips you out and stuff. Um, but there's a, there's a whole another genre of music that I'm that I'm really into, which is the shoegazing uh, 
types of music. Uh, also grunge, which is going to um, be the album that I'm, that I'm going to play. Okay, I'll just say it now, which is that it is uh, uh, Smashing Pumpkin's Siamese Dream, the classic, um, one of the classic grunge albums from 1993, which I was very excited to uh, hear when it came out because I'd already listened to Smashing Pumpkin's first album, Gish. I'd gotten introduced to, to grunge, uh, you know, right when it came out. I remember hearing Nirvana, their first album, and uh, a friend had it, was playing it in his car, and I was like, yeah, it's all right. You know, I, I wasn't that, that uh, you know, hugely impressed or anything. Um, but then I, I uh, heard Pearl Jam's first album, and I was much more into them, and I, I really got into them. And then Soundgarden, um, Alice in Chains, and Smashing Pumpkins. So, uh, Siamese Dream came out in 93, and uh, it was just such a uh, vast improvement on Gish, even though Gish is a good, good album, but it isn't, it isn't all that, there wasn't like that raw, passionate, emotional quality to Gish. It was good, you know, good, good stuff, but uh, it didn't really like totally get me like, you know, flipping out on how awesome it was. And so I hadn't, I hadn't listened to Siamese Dream in I don't know how long, and I forget how I, why I decided to listen to it last night, why it popped into my head, but, um, so I was listening to it last night while I was at work, at, at, you know, I worked a night shift at a hotel, so middle of the night, nobody else around, um, I'm working on the computer there, and, uh, and so I, I um, pull up the, the YouTube, you know, there's free albums on YouTube, and, uh, and listen to that, and it's just like a, a, uh, a total mind trip, a spiritual journey. Um, it's just so freaking perfect. That album is just so, just every song just hits you in just the right spot, and it's so varied from just incredible guitar riffs um, to like the much more uh, sort of mellow, emotional, uh, there's some more acoustic sounding songs in it. So, Check the link down below the video here, and uh, feel free to give it a try. Maybe not your thing, but um, that to me is definitely one of the all-time best albums on a very, very long list of a couple hundred albums, but uh, it's, it's definitely up there. So uh, further in the grunge and shoegazing uh, department, then in the early 90s, around the same time that somebody, uh, a friend of mine who was... Who was uh, from Los Angeles and was, was big into music and, and was on to a lot of the uh, more alternative stuff, uh, turned me on to Smashing Pumpkins, uh, but also some more obscure stuff. One of my all-time favorite albums, if, if I was forced to choose one album, my all-time favorite, that would be a really tough choice, but definitely a top contender would be Loveless by My Bloody Valentine. So they're firmly in the shoegazing department. And I think that album came out in 1991. And it is simultaneously heavy guitar and totally angelic. It's like, well, I, I made a music video to one of their, uh, one of their songs. What is it? No, actually that was a curve song. That's right. Um, but, uh, Anyways, their, their music is very multi-layered. There is uh, backwards guitar in, in the album. Um, they, you know, play guitar and then switched it backwards and then fuse that with forwards guitar and, and other instruments, of course. And it is in the genre of, of uh, um, shoegazing, which, which oftentimes tends to be all male band members with a female singer. A bunch of them are like that. Lush, Slow Dive, Curve, My Bloody Valentine. Um, those are like kind of the four greats of, of shoegazing in my, in my book. And, uh, and so that's the case, case with My Bloody Valentine. So it has that intense guitar, uh, very kind of psychedelic or whatever, but then the softness of the, the female voice and, um, and that kind of uh, provides kind of the, the angelic feel. 
to it. Um, so that's an awesome album. And then, as I just mentioned, uh, Curve is one of my favorites. I, I did a, a video a year ago or so when I was in, in uh, Indonesia. Uh, the best band nobody's heard of. And I, I put like five or six different clips from different Curve songs in that video over some random travel footage of mine from Indonesia. Uh, so, and then, and then other, you know, further in the, in the, uh, in the grunge department, um, you know, I was big into Pearl Jam, and, uh, as I mentioned, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, Smashing Pumpkins, um, who else comes to mind? Like, I, I, I like, uh, select few songs of Sno uh, Stone Temple Pilots. Not like not like big into them, like listening to a full album of theirs. But but uh, when some of their songs come on, then then uh, that one Interstate Love song, I think it is, um, is really awesome. And uh, yeah, I think that pretty well covers things. Um, I mean, I like world music, more folk music. Kate Wolf, Joni Mitchell. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff out there, fortunately. So, anyways. Stay tuned and coming up in future videos and I will uh, be putting more links down below to some of my favorite songs and albums. And in the meantime, feel free to check, uh, click the link down below here and um, check out Smashing Pumpkins, Siamese Dream. All right.